You know we have that saying, bro. You can take a nigga out the hood, but you can't take the hood out the nigga, bro. That's one of our biggest problems, bro, is taking the hood out the nigga, bro. How do we take the hood out the nigga, bro? I'm going to help you, bro. This is how you do it. So first off, like slow money. You got to learn how to manage slow money. Because if you can manage it, bro, and if you have enough wits to manage your money weeks out, months out, to think about the investments that you're making and manage your money years out. And this ain't no fucking investment channel, bro, so don't get it fucked up. But I'm saying, though, it's still facts, though. If you can manage that kind of money, then it kind of makes it easier to just not go for the fast money. And I'm starting to see that now. Like, I look at a lot of the shit these fools doing, bro, like it's a straight up waste of time, bro. Like, I'm not finna be fucking driving out anywhere, bro, to serve you. I'm not finna get up out this chair and walk outside to serve you shit, bro. Why am I like that, bro? Well, because I, I know how to manage slow money. Fast money doesn't really require management, bro. It's fast. That's one thing, bro, that'll really help get y'all motherfuckers, like, at least to get out of the whole fast money thing. Like at least 50% of y'all motherfuckers, if y'all just knew that y'all had a fucking paycheck coming and y'all like didn't look down on working, if you just knew those two fucking things, bro, then a lot of y'all would say, fuck that fast money, bro. Like you getting, you know, now we ain't, we ain't gonna say fuck all the money. <laughs> you know what I mean? Motherfucker, you, you really cashing out. Hey, it's fast money season. You know what I mean? But come on now. Like we, we, we adults over here, bro. Y'all know what I'm saying? If your street reputation is going to pay you or not. Like, are you a star, bro? Are you actually getting paid from being who you are? Or are you not, bro? Because if you're not, that's the thing, bro. I feel like is if you put any kind of value on having a good life with society... If you have any kind of value on that, then it brings making money up to the forefront of what you think about. You know what I mean? And when you when you see things that aren't paying you, bruh, it just kind of makes it goofy to be all into it. You know what I mean? You know, we do it with our neighborhoods and all that. We are from where we from and all that. But let's talk facts for a minute, though, bruh. I be talking all this 209 shit, this Phoenix Lake shit, bruh. Everybody know where I'm from and all that. But... I don't own that motherfucking street, bro. I don't own El Oso. You know what I mean? I don't own all this shit, bro. You know what I mean? I'm just from there. But like, I ain't trying to sound all hypocritical, bro. But like, yeah, bro. Like, sometimes we just got to understand what's paying us and what's not paying us, bro. And what is it that we want out of life? Like, you want people driving up to the gas station just to know that you're up there at the gas station and shit? Or like, or do you want like a nice car and a nice house? And, and are you trying to get paid, bro? You know what I mean? You got to understand what's going to pay you and what's not. Secondly, you got to stop being feminine in your speech and in your temperament. It's strange how many men act so fucking feminine, hot-headed, can't control themselves. And they talk exactly like the single mom that raised them, bro. I be, look, I be watching some of these interviews, bro. And it's even more evident with guys from the South, too. I'm not going to lie, bro. But, like, I'm like, bro, you sound like a woman, bro. Like, dude is really talking. He's talking. And, and you going to get mad at me over a song? And I'm thinking, like, bro, you sound like my mama, bro. And it's because dude was raised by a single mom. So he took up after his mama, bro. A lot of us got to gotta check ourselves on that, bro. Like, you got to understand, like, were you raised around women, bro. If a bunch of women raised you, then then understand, bro, that you probably do be having your feminine moments, bro. I'm trying to work on that shit too, bro, like cuz people be pissing me off sometimes, bro. When people see my mood change, this is like over the past 2 years, bro. I've I've been convinced of this. Is when people see my mood change, bro, that's feminine, bro. Like that's feminine of me, bro. To, to be displaying that my mood has changed and yeah, you, you guys are over here doing that, but I'm mad right now. So don't talk to me the way you normally do and, and all this goofy shit, bro. You know, so as black men, bro, we got to stop being feminine, bro. We going to cut out all that little fucking goofy shit, bro. All that little girly shit, bro. We got to cut that out, bro. And you got to be stoic with your attitude. Don't be feminine and fucking hot headed because there's, 
There's a feminine, hot-headed aspect to the hood nigga life. That's why motherfuckers don't talk about nothing, bruh. I mean, y'all know what the world is like now, bruh. Come on now, I ain't gotta tell you. As hood black niggas, single moms have changed the way that we look at our hair, bro. My fucking sister had fucking extensions in my fucking nephew's hair, bro. So think about how like it's this single mom shit. And guess what? And his dad okays it because he was raised by a fucking single mom too. You know what I mean? So the world of the single mother has come crashing down on us. And now my nephew has extensions in his fucking hair. I don't even know why he has long hair in the first fucking place. He's a fucking boy. They want to do his hair and they think he's so cute with his braids and all this shit. And they treat him like a fucking girl, bro. And when you look at all these hairstyles that y'all motherfuckers be having and shit, bro. Come on now. Like y'all not finna sit up here and tell me that that shit is not single mother influenced, bro. Nigga, did your daddy give you that idea, nigga? Or did some fucking bitch give you that idea? Because it was probably your bitch ass mama, nigga. I think that one of the, the biggest things that's wrong with that though is the fact that a lot of guys are never gonna see themselves physically in their masculine potential. A lot of guys are gonna have fucking beer bellies and fucking, fucking My Michael Jackson perms and shit forever, bro. They're never gonna see like what it's really like to be like a G, bro. You know what I mean? Another area where we shoot ourselves in the foot is with these hoes, bro. Yeah, with these bitches, nigga. With these skeezers, bro. It's important as hood black niggas that we put a lot more value on conservative women, bro, because the Magic City uniform kind of bitch, she wants a certain kind of dude, bro, and that's why she looks like that. You know what I mean? She wants a certain kind of dude. She wants a hood nigga, bro. She wants a hood nigga. And that's you, bro. But if you hook up with this bitch, what's gonna happen is she's gonna influence you to stay a hood nigga forever, bro. And you have to be a hood nigga to attract those kind of bitches, bro. So start looking at conservative bitches, bro. Start looking at like, you know, basically bitches who ain't got on the Magic City uniform. You feel me? And and you'll see like how these women are like conducive to your shit, to you taking the hood up out you. Some bitches, bro, it's like if you're not hood enough, bro, they don't want shit to do with you, bro. So... We talking about the Bible for hood black niggas. So put the two and two together, bro. Don't be fucking with them bitches like that. Something else y'all do is y'all pay attention to rap too much, bro. Rap has the fucking undertone of the Grim Reaper. All these little stories y'all be hearing, bro. All these interviews that y'all be watching and all that, bro. Like, y'all be way too much into this shit, bro. I had a 45-year-old man talk about Young Boy and Lil Durk. Talking about their beef, bro. Not even a song. He's like into it so much that he gives a fuck about the beef, bro. I still don't know what the fuck the beef the beef was or, or anything about that shit, bro. Mind you, this motherfucker was also... A, he's also a fucking bum with no car and all the rest of it, you know? So that's why, bro. It's because that's where his fucking efforts are, bro. He's thinking about rap. And a lot of y'all are thinking about rap too much, bro. And you got to understand when, when you consume these things, when you watch and listen to certain things, bro, it consumes you, bro. And you start thinking like them, bro. That's why you got these white boys in motherfucking who knows fucking where in middle America somewhere. Ain't no black motherfuckers at the whole motherfucking school. As soon as they start fighting, what's up, nigga? What's up, nigga? Where are they getting that shit from, bro? There's not even no black people at their fucking school, bro. You know what I mean? Where are they getting that? And if they are, they're fucking whitewashed black people. You know what I mean? So where are they getting that shit from, bro? They're getting it from rap, bro. You see how everybody talk. You see how motherfuckers be acting in the streets, bro. All this shit is like trickling down from rap. Yes, some of the rap is just representative of what's going on in the streets, but I'm not a fucking fool and neither are you. And you know that a lot of this bullshit happens because of rap. A lot of your bullshit happens because of rap, bro. Talking about rap, talking about dumbass fucking stories and what's going on with these fucking people, bro. And and when you when you think about those things, bro, it's almost like mentally it keeps you in the hood, you know? So, yeah. And when you talk to somebody who's all into rap, bro, you can tell when you talk to them. No more negative attention, bro. Just trying to get attention at any fucking expense 
is fucking retarded, bro. Don't just be out trying to get attention all the fucking time. But it's mainly negative attention. Now, Kanye West, you can get as much negative attention as you fucking want, bro. But me, me and you watching this fucking video, bro, we can't be getting negative attention like that, bro. You know what I mean? Because it makes you look like a hood black nigga, bro. And this is the Bible. The Bible for hood black niggas. You need to have a different vision of success. At one point in time, bro, my vision of success was a fucking MacBook, fucking a bunch of hundreds, a bunch of twenties. You're like, you gotta have cash on the table. You gotta have the computer on the table. Then you gotta have guns on the table, weed everywhere. That was how I saw success, bro. It was like straight up trap life, bro. And you gotta change that, bro. You gotta change like, the way you see success, bro. Cause now when I think of success, I think of, you know, a fucking bulletproof glass garage, bro. With a, you know, with a four GT in that motherfucker. That's what I think of when I think success now, you know? So you got to change like that trap life version of success, bro. And try to, and go corporate with it, bro. Go corporate with it and see if you can find something else. You know what I mean? Something else that, you know, that's not hood that you could still see yourself doing, bro. You got to imagine yourself walking in a different life. You feel me? What if you were the dude who drove a Porsche and wore a suit every fucking day? Think about those kind of things, bro. You got to be well-spoken too. And you need to know what you're talking about. If you don't know what you're talking about, then before you speak, you need to make it clear that you don't know what you're talking about to avoid arguing with people in the future. You got to understand how to talk to everybody. You can't talk to everybody the same way, you know? So when you walk into a liquor store and you, I mean, unless you're like, you know, white or something, <laughs> but if you are a hood, if you're a hood black nigga, bro, you can't talk to everybody the same way. And you talking about, hey, what's up, bro? To the, to, you know, to the cashier. Like when you go, and talk to your dentist, bro. Don't be walking up to your dentist talking about what's up, bro. Don't be giving him the little hood nigga handshake, bro. Come on now. Shake that man's hand with some fucking respect, bro. That's your dentist, bro. You know what I mean? This ain't one of your partners. Try to have more respect for what's going on in society, bro. And just understand that you can participate. You can go to the dealership off your salary, off your hourly job. You can go to the dealership and you can participate in some of this American pie. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel, man. Thanks for watching this motherfucker. I'm out.